Hello! Today is a bit of a different video. Hello, Kinos! Missa, have you come to join me? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I will show you my antique and vintage collection of books. And we'll start with this. A little, uh, little thing. It is one of my most prized possessions. I got it from my grandfather when he, he had to move house. He wasn't gonna bring it with him. So I asked if I could get it and he had no plans on taking it with him himself. So he was like, of course, otherwise it might just be thrown out. <laughs> I was like, thrown out? So um, it is, as you can see, I'm not sure you can see it. <laughs> The Telegraph, and then uh, what kind of edition? Oh, not edition. Oh, it does. It just says. It says 1909, and then what book it is? And it is basically a collection of uh, old newspapers from night from. It starts April, April 1909, and it's some of the newspapers from the Telegraph, called the Telegraph, from that year, April, from April to September, 1909. And it is, uh, it is quite large, my head in comparison. That was book number one. Where'd you put it? <laughs> I have no face. Hello, kiddos. Don't you dare scratch in my book, yo. You may lay on it, but you may not scratch in it. Yeah, sitting is also okay. Anyway, there's not going to be any method to my showing of these books. It's not going to be chronologically yearly, which book is older theme. <laughs> That's not. I'm just going to show you what kind of books I have. I have this one. It says Wildflowers. It is from 1963 or 69. I think this this edition is from 69 but the original the first edition is from 63. So this is a vintage book I believe and it's just about wildflowers. There is some text about them and then there is pictures. You have a sign, Kina? She is uh She's on the book. As you can see, just chilling on the big one. Anyways, then we've got this one. It has some discoloration. So you can read that. Yeah. Everyday art, world art. And this book is from 1943 and it's about art everyday art and like mostly it seems like it is art through history you can see ice age stuff so he goes through and then there's some greek rococo art yes so different art through history gothic oral painting that's basically this one then we've got this one 1920 to 1937 and i believe that this book is from 1938 so a year after and it's also a collection of news articles so that the king first one is the king is riding over the border and then something about professor albert einstein is in copenhagen and then the first danish german fly route is started something about danish americans oh everyone something about hairstyles modern hairstyles i will show you So basically a lot of 
articles. Yeah. Very interesting. Then we've got this one. First time it happened is what it says. And uh, as you can see, it has like a, a picture on the cover and it extends to the back. And this one, as you can see, it's on the inside. And from this one is from 1970. So this is a vintage book. And it's just uh, highlights of human history. The first locomotives and uh, trains and cars, as you can see. The first uh, steam vehicle. And then the first camera, first Christmas cards. First operation under sedation. Is that even a word? Sedation? Electromagnetism and H.C. Erstel. Jose Erstel. The first car. The first living pictures. The first telegraph that are wireless. Yes. Then we've got this pretty book, pretty cover. This front is from 63, 1963. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. And then it talks about the quote in the foreword. And then it's just about art through history. We've got the, the Mona Lisa sculpture and architecture. <sighs> then we've got this one. Yes, it says um, winged words, I believe. It is from 63, 1963. And then it's just a lot of citations, historical sayings and ways of speech and words. So like we've got England expects a, every man to do his duty. So it's just an encyclopedia basically about sayings and words throughout history. Then we've got this one. It's with gothic letters, as you can see. It's with gothic letters. So it's a little hard to to read, but it's the big doctor's footsteps in the big doctor's footsteps. And this one is from 1910. This is the Samaritan. It's a lot, it's a Christian book. It's a, doc, a Christian doctor. Basically a how to behave as a Christian doctor or like what you need to like learn from him, like in his footsteps. Then we've got this one. The Middle Ages. And this one is from 1965. And then I believe this one is from 67. This copy. And you can see there's also some discoloration in this. On this. There's some pictures. Something about knights and how they were schooled into becoming a knight. The life of cities back then in the Middle Ages. It says a world riddle with tempters and demons. Then I have this one. The fairy tales of Hans Christian Andersen. Back of the book. The front of the book. Now I am not gonna read this one. It's very pretty and it also has illustrations in it. Very pretty. Yes. Yes. Very pretty. Very nice. However, I'm probably not gonna read this because why read it in? It's in English, this one. Right, Gilliams? It's in English. Why would I read it in English when I can read it in the mother tongue? <laughs> In the original language, I'll just re I have some Hans Christian Andersen books in Danish, so I, I if I were to read them, I would probably read them in Danish. 
but but I have this. It is from 73. 1973. Then I have this book, Loan Words, and it's also written in Gothic text. I this has been my grandmother's book, and it ha it's from 1910. Whoops. 19. 1910. Dottore. Doctor. So there's just uh, some some words that are foreign words dictionary. Hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> then I have this teeny little book, Stories from the Jungle, Stories from the Jungle Boat by Rudyard Kipling, and this edition is from 1931. Someone has made little notes in it. Look, there's a shroom there, but it's an English book with a uh, German foreword? Yes. English, like the, the story in itself is in sick and giddy as Mowgli was, he could not help enjoying the wild rush. So that part is in English, but the foreword is in German. Die Richtlinien für die hohen Schulen preben vom Rache 1925. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah. now we probably come to my oldest, the oldest book in my collection is this one. As you can see, it is quite worn. Yes. I believe it has been leather bound, but the leather has started to crackle and like flake off painted edges and this one if you see if I open up here you could see but this one is from 1786 1786 you could see it here 17 86 and it is uh, a collection of letters over important and useful materials and I believe this is uh, the third and uh, it's also gothic letters anyway so this is a very old probably the oldest one in my collection yeah. Then I have a Bible, <laughs> um, an old Bible from, um, it is from 1899, 1899, the Bible. It also says on the spine, the Bible, and it is gorgeous, absolutely absolutely gorgeous. Gothic Bible, and I believe it has a map inside, it's also in Gothic. Let us. I don't touch these books often because I like to handle them the you know the least amount possible. But when I need to show you, I I will handle them. Then we've got this is just an example of it. But these are from 1928, and as you can see, as you can see. These, this stack, is the same series of books, and it also goes down here. Oh, and I, I also have another vintage book, a dictionary, an English dictionary. And these are uh, novels, I believe. Historical novel, second half, this is the second half. In Danish, yes. The Shakinians. Do you wanna sit on me, Kidims? Is that it? Or do you wanna make biscuits?
need to join a set on me hockey names. Yes, be usual. Anyways, I will continue with a with a cat on me. Yes, I have this small book. If you would focus, Oxford Diction Pocket Oxford Dictionary it was also my grandmother's. First edition is from 1924, but I believe that this one is from 61. So I believe that the last one is 60, 64, 61. Yeah, we're finishing this with you, kiddos. Yeah, you're gonna be in the video too. Anyways, I have this. The spine is, is gone. But you will. This is a collection. This is the first book. I believe the first one of a collection of encyclopedias from 1906. As you can see, 1906. I think it's conversation lexica. Someone's illustrated conversations lexica. And there are indeed like there's a map he here oh was there another map here and then there are some small illustrations throughout and it's also in gothic letters I have the whole collection of the lexica. It's up there. As you can see, those five books. Those five books. The, that's the rest of the encyclopedia. I got them from my grandfather. Yeah. But that was, that was this one. Then I have these two. Heavy books, they're uh, a pair, and I got them from my grandmother. My grandmother gave them to me, and that is, is Dan this is the second one. Danish uh, house wife lexica, house mother. It, it directly translated, it says house mother, but that's, I would translate it as housewife instead. And it's just, uh, look, we've got some, some stitches, some ways to iron. We've got how to sew a, a it's a type of meat. It's called Wulepulse, rolled sausage. It's just how you make sausages and stuff. It's a lexica, so it's in alphabetical order. Just, oh my. I found this inside of it. And after eight packet for chocolates, it's squeezed flat, so there's nothing in it. Now we've come to the last book that I want to show you. And it mirrors the first one I showed you. It's just a little smaller. This is a collection of um, House and Home, the Housewives magazine, and it's from May. It's a collection of these magazines from May 6, 46 to, to December 46. So from May to December 46, we have a collection of this magazine, House and Home, Housewives magazine. As you can see, House and Home, Who's I Am, and there's everything in it. We've got, someone's been writing in it, but we've got a bunch of different stuff. Comics. Yeah, and so that was it.
that was my collection of antique slash vintage books. I would love to know it and see if a anyone else has a collection of vintage or antique books or old books in general. I would love to know about them but this was a bit of a different video anyways that was it for me i just wanted to show you my vintage slash antique books and i will see you in the next video bye -nye. is that really all i have to say about it i don't know i i have a personal satisfaction in collecting these books i just i don't necessarily use them for anything other than flicking through them and reading some of them. And I just feel like it gives a little highlight to a certain period in history. Both what it's about, but also when it was written and what they thought about that period of time that they're writing about. Does that make sense? Let me know if you'd want me to go more in depth with any one of them and t tell you about what what they're writing about. I just went kind of loose over every book just to introduce and when it was from. That was it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! -nye.